Great. In this last step, I want you to determine, and you need to actually look at the stage size because what you what you want to happen. Let me show you what's going to happen. Is when you get to the top of the stage, it should leave and then it should come back up from the bottom. Now you need to do the same going down, right, and left. Let's look at how I did that. Let's also look at the stage properties. Your stage is 550 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. I've done this a few times, so it didn't take me a lot of guessing to get where I needed to be. I'm checking at negative 40 because it's usually checking from the tip of the arrow, so I want it to be all the way off the stage before it starts coming back in, and that's why I also have it reset to 420. So when I move the arrow up, I'm going to check, and if its Y location is less than negative 40, I move it so it's to 420. You need to do this for all of the directions. The other thing that I want you to do is have it so that if you hit the space bar, it will go up by 30 so that it acts like a jump. And that's pretty much it. Once you're done with that, you can hand the program in.